This is Pex Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 17, The Demon King Reveal. Alright, as you can see behind me, I have Hanzo and Okatsu as my ally. So, yeah, to start off this mission, we're going to be shooting uh, two revenants. So, the first revenant is going to be right on top of here. Shoot the next one right here. Then we're going to shoot this foxy Okai. It won't kill him. It'll just aggravate him and chase us. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, there you go. It now got a uh, Hanzo and Akatsu right there to attack. Uh, the reason why we're just having them attack instead of us is because, yeah, as you can see, Fox keeps going corner to corner, and you don't want to fall to our death. And uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, Akatsu and Hanzo are going to be very useful in half of uh, the mission right here. There's going to be another Fox Yokai. I'm going to have those two handle it. Alright. It's going to lo uh, loose corpse right here. And then we're going to let Hanzo and Okatsu handle these Yokais right here. And then we're just going to go down here. And then we're going to open this gate. We're going to switch to our handgun, our hand cannon, my bad, uh, and then we're going to use high caliber just to take out this crystal yokai, and at first I thought there is a fox yokai right next to it, and I thought it was chasing me, uh, but it didn't. I'm just going to loot this corpse all the way down here, which has the large soul stone, which we, we are going to be using that later on, and uh, we're just going to lure the fox yokai the matchlock is going to try chasing us, and then Hanzo and Okatsu are right there. Save the day, or save that part of the area. Alright, and we're just going up, 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 and loot this corpse right here. And then, right in that corner is the, uh, Two is a dual sword yokai. All right. As you can see, uh, Okatsu's down. Uh, so I did forget to mention that they don't have uh, any health bars or stamina like like us, the player. Uh, and if they don't die as well, they just stay down until you go next to them and revive them. So yeah, just took out that revenant, and then we're gonna lure this uh, fox yokai. Have them take care of it. gonna climb up this ladder and then there is a revenant that is on top of that hill uh, and then unfortunately we uh, traded guns uh, yeah <laughs> but I lived and he didn't all right and then we're gonna switch to the hand cannon go to high caliber and then knock down this yokai right there switch to low cal caliber and then just take them out and as you saw the glowing Henken, that was raising my familiarity. Uh, I think I did not mention what familiarity is. Uh, pretty much what it is is the uh, uh, durability of your weapon. Uh, the higher it is, the more it, your attack damage uh, multiplies. And uh, we are switching the hand cannon to the bow so that we can conserve our ammo. Because uh, uh, further on, we're going to be fighting a horde of yokais in order to proceed a gate. Further into the game, which we'll be fighting the boss, uh, well, one out of three bosses. The first boss is named Nobunaga, the second one is Kelly, and then the third one is uh, Yamato no Orochi, which is translated to the eight headed snake. Well, I don't know if Yamato no Orochi means that, but you would know it's a headed snake if you know if you watch Naruto but anyway uh, yeah so we're gonna pass those two yokais we're gonna jump down here we're gonna go up 
And unfortunately, Okatsu or Hanzo have not arrived yet. Probably still taking care of those two uh, yokais right there. And if there is a revenant right there, we're going to shoot him, knock him out. And unfortunately, my uh, final blow did not miss him for some reason. But whatever, I'll take that out. And Okatsu arrived just in the nick of time to help me out. Alright, and then I just looted this corpse just to get the water amulets. Uh, and unfortunately, Hanzo is not with us. I think either he's still fighting them, or actually, he probably might have been knocked out. Uh, so we're gonna. So I'm gonna try going back. So in order to go back, we're gonna go through this road and ran it and. On our way is the giant one-eyed yokai, and we're gonna knock down this tree. And I'm just gonna do a little edit just to uh, be right back. All right, so we, I have Hanzo and Okatsu with me. Uh, we're gonna be needing them in order to fight this horde of uh, yokais right here. So the first yokai is gonna be the crow yokai. Just use uh, uh, sloth and weakness on him. And then let uh, Hanzo and Okatsu handle him. You can join in the fight as well. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just going to fight him when his back is turned. Uh, I know it's like a coward and uh, weird, uh, weird way of fighting. But this is like a safer way of uh, fighting all these uh, yokais in order to proceed. Uh, there is a revenant right here. Let's take care of him right here. Uh, and then right behind that house, uh, there was a corpse that we needed to loot and then inside of that house was a treasure box that we needed to get inside to, uh, to loot as well uh, but yeah so as you can see it's fighting off a bunch of other yokais it was a giant one-eyed yokai there's gonna be a lickitung yokai coming out and then uh, there's gonna be another lickitung yokai a giant one-eyed yokai and a yokai using a kusurigama and then right now I'm just gonna use uh, High caliber arrows just to give some damage on him. I helped out. And then I'm just helping out with using Sloth of Weakness on them so that Hanzo and Okatsu can have a good advantage on fighting him. And then really scared me and surprised that <laughs> that Yokai with the Kusurigama got, uh, was after me, gave me some damage, but I got him some more with the high caliber arrow. Uh, Hanzo and Okatsu were down. We just go near him, revive him, and just help him out. Just fighting just a little bit, and then just help in the back by just uh, shooting some arrows. And then use some uh, match lock. I'm, I'm missing a lot on my arrows, but. I mean, no worries, it's not like we're going to be using the arrows, like, uh, later on. And then bullseye on that, and then just finish him off. And, uh, there you go. The horde of yokais are no more. Alright, and then I'm just, uh, switching my bow back to the hand cannon. I think that might be the last time I'm ever going to be using the arrows. Um, the bow and arrow, basically. So yeah, after we open the gate, we're going to be uh, quickly running through the Emerita Road. Uh, unfortunately, Hanzo and Okatsu were too late to uh, keep going as the Emerita Road collapsed. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing this on our own, which is not really scary or nothing to worry about. So yeah, once we go inside this castle, we're going to be using this shrine as a shortcut. Or actually, a checkpoint. Sorry. Just uh, saying whatever's in my mind right now. There's no script. All right. And we're going to go through here. There is a uh, revenant with the giant axe. Or basically a giant revenant with the giant axe, I would say. So to get this prepared, just use uh, Carnage. And then as soon as he comes out, Sloth and Weakness. Alright, and then we just uh, keep attacking him. Let's 
And then before we go through the that gate, we're actually going to go back to the shrine. Because um, I did mention that we are actually... I didn't actually mention. Uh, basically, uh, we're going to be fighting four bosses that we have fought before. Uh, in order to proceed in fighting uh, Nobunaga. So we're going to be unequipping uh, the level 1 fire shots of each one. Fire, water, uh, earth, and lightning. And just uh, re-equipped uh, our Kekai, uh, Guardian Spirits, and then uh, water and lightning, I believe. So yeah, um, I've only equipped uh, level 3 water and then lightning, and then I think, uh, and then just one uh, Kekai. Alright, so once we open the gate, we're going to go to our left, and we just keep hugging the left side of the wall, keep running. We're gonna go through this gate right here all right and then as you can see from uh, that edit I did die from <laughs> this boss uh, but yeah but nothing to worry about so yeah this boss yeah it's a uh, Himo Enma uh, so sloth uh, weakness uses uh, summoning uh, spirit yeah summoning uh, spirit just to uh, do some uh, good damage on her and just keep hitting her with uh, water when she's down just punish her with water slash and there you go Nemo Enma is down all right so we're gonna use the uh, travel talisman just to go back to the shrine instead of just going the long way of just uh, yeah instead of just going to the long way all right doing the using the travel talisman it replenishes our omeo magic so we don't need to use the shrine. Um, oh yeah, so we're gonna go through the gate again, and then go through here, through another gate. All right, and then getting ourselves prepared. It's gonna go to the uh, inventory, and if we have, if you have any wind talisman, uh, use this for this boss fight. And then uh, Kekai and Carnage, and then. Use the uh, summoning guardian spirits, slot the weakness, uh, and then we're just gonna switch to uh, high stance. And then basically, what we're gonna do, I mean, yeah, as you know, Juro uh, Gumo, uh, just keep attacking her backside until she gets to her fetal position. And once she gets to her fetal position, just punish her with water slash. And uh, there you go, uh, Gumo is down. We're not going to be using a travel amulet this time since uh, we're like right across, we're, li we're literally right across from the shrine. Well, not from the shrine, but like into the gate that goes to the shrine. Yeah, just use that to replenish. All right. I'm just gonna now go to the right and then hug the right side of the wall. Just keep running. And we're just gonna go up here. There's no gate this time. It's gonna be like a giant grass field. And then before we go further, it's gonna Kekai, Carnage, and then use Water Talisman. And then once again, we are gonna be fighting Mue. All right. So for those, I mean, again, this is the third time we're gonna be fighting Mue, and uh, yeah, it, it's. Uh, if you guys already know, pretty simple. I don't need to say much, uh, and then hope and just enjoy this battle. 
Nue is down as well. We got one more boss to go. So we're going to be using the travel amulet once again. again go to the right hug the right side of the wall keep running and then we're gonna go once again to the right hug the right side of the wall all right and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna open this uh, gate and then before we get everything started Kick eye, carnage, and then use water, cover the dual sword. Switch to high stance. Then use the uh, summoning guardian. And the sloth and weakness. And then wait for him to attack. And then just use a water slash on him. And there you go. Congratulations. If you have done these steps correctly, you have defeated all four bosses. And uh, we're gonna once again use traveling amulet, uh, using travel amulet, and then go to the shrine, and then uh, we're gonna be using. If you have any uh, any uh, so, if you have any spirit stones within your inventory, along with the large uh, soul stone, uh, recommend using that. going to level up and we are going to increase our magic by 10. Uh, we're going to go to Ready Jutsu and then we are going to switch uh, water to Earth Talisman. Uh, Nobunaga is not weak against any element but for some reason water or earth I, I would prefer earth uh, for some reason uh, gives like a little more damage than it does on Nobunaga for some reason. I don't know. It doesn't say he's weak against any element. Again. But, again, just to be safe, just use uh, Earth. Uh, and then when the battle starts, Sloth, Weakness, wait for him to attack. And just do a combo right there. He's going to use his living weapon. Should have used the opportunity to use the... Uh, yeah, Water Slash earlier. Yeah, I did not know he was going to reach that far. And he's going to summon a bunch of mines. Uh, just be careful on that. Uh, just again use Sloth and Weakness just to be safe. And I'll uh, have him attack. And then just punish him by attacking him. Just wait for that. Then just use Water Slash. And uh, as you see, you only needed to finish him 75% off, not by 100. That's a uh, really good relief for uh, for a boss battle. But yeah, uh, now we go to the right, and there is a shrine right here. All right, so this time we are going. Uh, back to ready jutsu and we are going to re-equip uh, all the shots of fire water uh, lightning and uh, earth and we are going to put them back in our shortcut
All right, and then the next boss that we're fighting is Kelly. Um, how hard is Kelly? Uh, he's as easy as Obsidian Samurai to me. But yeah, he's a, but overall he's pretty much an easy boss to fight. His uh, uh, Dragon Snake Spirit uh, is the only thing that's threatening, but for him overall, he's not that threatening. Uh, so we're just gonna qu uh, use uh, Lightning Talisman or Lightning Amulet, cover our dual sword, Kekai, or actually no, we're not, we don't have Kekai in this one, we'll just use Carnage. Then as soon as the uh, battle starts, slot and weakness, and then again, yeah, we'll just use that uh, dragon snake thing, and he's just gonna attack like that, and again, punish him by attacking him, keep hitting him while he's guarding so that you can guard break him. And go down, use the cross slash, and then finishing blow. Then he's just gonna teleport and then do that kind of attack. You can really see that it's super predictable. And then he's just gonna do that little like parry thing. Then he's gonna run towards you and then try to stab you. Um, you can just you can uh, constantly keep dodging so that you can dodge that attack. Yeah, he's just gonna. He, that's all he does. He just those kinds of attacks. It's not that threatening. And then that's the only thing that was threatening is his, like dragon snake spirit. Then he summons a bunch of yokai realms. Um, that really doesn't do much. Him off with a cross slash so yeah being kelly again pretty easy but we're going to be finding the next boss yeah yamato no orochi eight headed snake we're going to call it all right so we're not going to be using much of the weapon uh we're just going to be switching to our uh, right kitty just to get some maneuverability and then we're going to switch to our shot uh slot as i would call it just to uh yeah it takes three shots to kill uh, the first Orochi uh, then he's gonna summon two more of them so the first three don't have any elements with them so again it takes only like three shots to uh, take it out All right and then now that we have uh, taken care of the second one now there's gonna be a bunch of other Orochis uh, each of them has his own element uh, how to quickly uh, use the katana uh, actually, or Raikiri once just to quickly take him out. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's going to be a bunch of Orochis uh, shooting their elements at, right at you. Uh, we're going to first fight the Wind Orochi by using lightning shots, and it's down for the count. Now we're going to water, and it's weak against fire, so use fire shots to take it out. So pretty simple, after they attack, just take advantage of just using the shots on them. Uh, so it does take three, but sometimes it takes four for some reason. Maybe because either it misses or like some weird timing. But anyway, all right, next up is lightning, and we're going to be using water to take it out. Just dodge their attack and then just use the water shot, and there we go. All right, next up is fire. Uh, not only is weak against water, it's also weak against earth as well. Uh, I learned that uh, from the DLC. So uh, yeah, 
Just use uh, Earth Shots and boom. The final Orochi is now, instead of turning, instead of the Earth Orochi, it just turned to an all elemental Orochi. Uh, as you can see from the two giant th horns right there. Not thorns, horns. Two giant horns right there. Uh, so yeah, it's starting to attack. Um, I forgot to mention before uh, fighting him, use Sloth and Weakness on him. Use Kekai just to be safe. And then just keep shooting him with every elemental shot because it's weak against all of those shots. And then once it's down, um, run towards it and then finish him off with a heavy attack. And congratulations if you have done this. Again, congratulations, you have defeated the Eight-Headed Snake. Alright. Jump off this castle. Skip the cutscene. There you go. We're going to be collecting all of those weapons right there. Just going to run towards Kelly. And he has a uh, Shaosi, or whatever her name is. Uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, the, the Water Guardian Spirit that was from the tutorial chapter. And as usual, uh, go to your inventory, uh, look at your weapons and armor. And if you have any prestige points available, you use them as much as you can. Sorry for that pause. I ate before I actually started recording. Uh, with commentary, I got hungry at that point, but yeah. <clears throat> All right, and there is a certain cutscene that's very interesting to watch. And we finally got Shao Shri. I'm just gonna call her that. Shao Shri back. Uh, and yeah, that interesting cutscene is presenting us the. For those who have not or not getting the DLC, which I believe it is worth it, uh, the final chapter or final mission of the game. Uh, but yeah, go to the shrine, go to a blessings sell the armor and weapons for more Amarita and if you have any uh, stones on your inventory use them as much as possible and then we're just gonna go and level up and just we're going to increase our heart by two and uh, we're gonna go to ready jutsu uh, just unequipped everything now and just uh, equip the whatever is uh, necessary and for me it is all three of these sloth and weaknesses uh, and then level three water talisman level two and level three lightning talisman and carnage and kekai and uh, guardian spirit talisman
and then on the next video uh, the next mission slash final mission is going to be called Queen's Eyes. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas in the Demon King reveal. So, first off, pretty easy, just turn around, go down uh, to your left and you'll find the first Kodama. For the second one, just go right over here to this corner, jump down, you'll find the next Kodama. And uh, once again, this is on New Game Plus, and I have defeated most of the enemies here in order to show you an easier way of where to find the Kodamas. Alright, and then we're just going to go down here uh, where the uh, Crystal Yokai and the Fox Yokai. Let's go to the right, and then within that corner is the next Kodama. For the next Kodamas, come go up the uh, ladder right here. And we're gonna go to the right. And then within that corner, just jump down. And be careful right here, there are two crow yokais uh, that are gonna potentially f make you fall off there. Just quickly go towards the uh, ladder, they won't follow you there. And then uh, you'll find the next Kodama to your left. And you can let Hanzo and Okatsu take care of them. And then while they're taking care of them, just go down here. And then go down these stairs and then go to the right. And then around the corner, you'll find the next Kodama in this area. And the reason why I said this area, because the next Kodama is going to be after the uh, Horde of Yokais. It's going to edit that out just to let you know where it is in a quicker way. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna walk up these, uh, we're gonna walk to the Emerita Road. Uh, I mean, the Yellow Brick Road, if you guys wanna call it. I mean, Wizard of Oz, uh, <laughs> in Kansas, it's in Japan. So, anyway, open this gate, and then go down these stairs right here. And then go to the right. And then uh, right next to the Kodama is a red root. Uh, pick him out if you can. And then once he's down, you can find the next Kodama. Alright, so for the next one and final Kodama, let's uh, go through this gate right here. And go to the left. Don't mind that uh, Guardian Spirit right there. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, and then just jump down there and congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. So let's go to the uh, nearest shrine. It can be any shrine, which is that one or right here. And uh, we're gonna go to our blessings. And it's to our left on the shrine menu. And uh, there you go, you have found all the Kodamas in each blessing. And uh, hope this video has helped you out.